just want to welcome folks back to the Vermont House Judiciary Committee. And uh, we are considering, we are continuing our discussion on um, Bureau of Racial Statistics. And um, I'm going to turn to Representative uh, Coach Christie. Um, if you have something um, short that you want to share with us and some comments. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, is Representative Norris with us? Yes. Great. Um, I, I had promised him that I would try to do this. Um, uh, it, he, he was looking for a visual representation of, the, uh, of what the bill is. So basically, uh, this is that representation. It, it's out of my head, so if it's a little squirrely, that explains it. Uh, <laughs> but as we can see, when we look at, these are the key partners uh, to the bill uh, over on the right. Um, you know, the bill itself um, in, in blue, uh, there's another block that is a, a bill that's surfacing. So that hasn't come into play yet, but it could eventually. Uh, then just the fact that there is so much discussion around data uh, integration uh, and the office's responsibility uh, around that. Uh, the Government Accountability Committee uh, which is charged with trying to get uh, to Ken's point about uh, breaking down the silos, getting the information in one space uh, more uh, visibly is in the purview of this group, this committee the Government Accountability Committee. And then we've got ADS that's providing all of these services to everyone in state government. Um, and as you can see, uh, those green arrows represent that interconnectedness with ADS and the Office of Racial Equity and the potential new division uh, of racial justice statistics. You'll see that another key partner in this whole bill, you know, is uh, RDAP, the racial disparities in the juvenile justice system. And then lastly, the report and information that we received from Justice Reinvestment II uh, with a very strong um, uh, suggestion that we move in the direction of more uh, justice related statistics uh, in our data, in our data collection. So we know the office, uh, Representative Goslant spoke about that this afternoon. You know, the fact that we have our executive director and the two positions uh, that we did in support of uh, the work that she's doing, along with the fact that she's got a very expansive uh, equity advisory council that supports the community transparency component. Similarly, we did another community engagement piece with this division by having the racial justice advisory panel uh, to support the division's work as it rolls out. Uh, there'd be a division director or executive director would, you know, assistant uh, here. And then these three staff positions, the admin assistant and whatever we term these folks as, you know, are they data analysts? Are they data miners? Uh, you know, so depending on title, but, but at least these are the FTEs for uh, the new division. And then in the background, as we look at this little 
green line here, uh, the agency of ADS, you know, shared with us that they would be utilizing at least one and a half FTE to provide those uh, uh, background services. And especially with the fact that we would be looking at being uh, CGIS compliant, uh, which would meet all federal guidelines for information uh, security. Um, so I, I hope that helps give you a little uh, uh, picture of what things look like. Uh, is that helpful, Representative Norris? It's certainly a lot to take in. I'll look at this some more. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll make it a point to download a PDF version uh, so that, uh, and send it to Amber well, I'll, I'll send a copy to the committee and uh, to Amber, uh, and then you'll have it because it, it, when the PDF version will show you the whole thing. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Coach. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So um, during, the, um, uh, during the testimony before the break, um, Barbara, you had raised a um, question about possibly putting in some some language and I uh, just wanted to give you an opportunity to, to discuss that because my, my hope was um, that we would um, vote on the bill, you know, um, this afternoon, um, but if, if we need to do another draft because of possible amendments or something like that, um, now would be the would be the time to do that and, and that's fine. So would you like me to, to uh, write something up quickly to read to the committee and propose well, adding. Before you do that, why don't you um, why don't you repeat your your thought and question about okay. um, the concept, and then we can get some um, just some feedback reaction. Sure. This so, a, um, amendment to uh, this bill. Oh, yeah. So I think the the the. I'm trying to sort of back us up to um, the start of the conversation about how does the budget look? And Susanna Davis was saying, it's, it's a good start. We don't know yet until we get in there exactly how things unfold and what we need, which is, it would be shocking um, to be able to know exactly what you need and to not need tweaks or adjustments. And in order to assure that that happens without um, people misunderstanding um, when they came back to present um, any changes, I think it's important to say, we know that this is a new um, endeavor and that we're requesting that um, after one year or whatever time period we're comfortable with, that um, an assessment will be done of the um, goals and the capacity of this office to be able to meet those goals based on um, real time experience um, and to come back with um, a report and additional recommendations or necessary Whatever it, it may not be, a, it could be a money thing. It could be a policy thing. It could be a permission communication thing. I mean, I, I'm not assuming it's going to be um, that you know a certain amount of money or positions, but rather than try to overshoot or overthink right now. Um, based on the best information that, that we're reviewing um, and that obviously the committees that looked at this and the groups that looked at it and um, the expertise of the witnesses we heard from, it seems reasonable to do that. And I would, I mean, in all of the programs and new initiatives I've started, it's like you want to go back and look at is this, is this, how's this going? This is what we set out to do. Are we doing it? 
if not why, what needs to change? And it just seems like a good way for us to keep, um, not to like check it off our list and just assume all is well. And should something be needed, um, to have it be an uphill battle of you just got money or policy changes two years ago. So why are you back here now? And um, just trying to head that off. Okay, thank you. So um, yeah, so would this be different than let's say a budget adjustment? I mean, I know you said policy, it might not be money or it might be policy, but if it was money, would that be, would it be something different than my come up in budget adjustment or? anybody Barbara. and and i don't know i mean obviously if it's if it's like right away it might be in budget adjustment but it takes time to hire people um and get them sort of trained and up to speed it may be that um i don't know it may be that um we're having a hard time finding people with the expertise we need in the field right now and so we might have to outsource or bring in a different consultant or or that there's some other um, new factor that comes online that that information needs to be collected from that would ch greatly change the workload. So I think that would be bigger than budget adjustment. Um, it's not like I'm looking for sunset. It's almost like the opposite. Like. Right, we want to hear right. how this is going. We, we want to know, you know, if, if, Report if. Barbara, right. we, we, we do have, uh, as you know, we, uh, I'm drawing a blank on anybody who might come in with their yearly reports. Is, is that what you're looking for? Is for them to come in and, and let us know how things are working. And maybe, maybe some of this, maybe some of this policy needs a little tweaking and, uh, which might not include uh, a budget adjustment. It may be just a, a little policy, a little policy change. So I, I guess with right. that, it, are you looking for maybe a, a, um, a yearly update for us? And, and maybe it's, I mean, and in some ways it may be um, because this is a new program, we want to, you know, have some, um, opportunity for the uh, body that, or the group that um, worked on this to hear back because there was a lot of discussion of where this should take, where should this be housed? Um, I'm not sure I would put in necessarily the word budget adjustment, but it, do, are, do we have the right resources, tools and um, policies to be doing the work that we asked for, or that, you know, that was, that was legislated. Um, yeah, so Martin has some thoughts. Well, well no, it, it, isn't it not sufficient on page four, of, on line three to five, where it's saying on or before January 15th, 2023, and annually thereafter, the division shall report its data analyses and recommendations to the House and Senate committees on judiciary and on government operations. I mean, what more do we need beyond that, do you think, Barbara? Um, so maybe it's just a sentence in there about, um, because that sounds very like routine and that makes what sense, but maybe it's, um, and in particular, we want to hear um, if the structure and um, uh, format is not the right word, but if the structure and um, staffing, I don't, I, I, I want to like think it, what the right yeah. word is, is adequate to meet this. I support adding some additional language that just makes it clear. We're looking for some kind of assessment of the department's functionality as staff as staffed and resourced or you know something along those lines, but I wouldn't say in particular because what I also really want to hear is if they do have recommendations where they're like, wow, we really see huge disparities in sentencing in these kinds of cases. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I just want to be careful not to revoke it. Appear that oh, we're right. out there, but so I wouldn't say in particular. But right, I, right. I, we're going just to make explicitly say we we want to hear your assessment. You know, some kind of assessment of how operational or yeah, operational assessment. Um, yeah, I, I'm just wondering if, if recommendations is a catch-all that would that would get everything that we're talking about. It could. And because uh, um, I, I forgot that language was there, and it, it certainly would satisfy my, my uh, I don't know if you call it a concern, but uh, what, what I was talking about as far as a, a yearly um, update on how things are going. And, and again, I think to me, I think recommendations would would cover what I was talking about if we need any any kind of policy changes, but um, whether it satisfies everybody else, I, I'm not sure. I think it's covered. Well, well Marlon and O'Reilly just covered it. So I'll have a problem. Because we have in front of us. We don't yeah. even have the, the <clears throat> different entities that'll share the data. I don't know how we can, how we're going to advance us. And spend taxpayers. I'm. I am not. I'm not in agreement with this at all. The way it is right now, I can't support this. Well, well, let me, well remember, I'm just going to say this, and we'll put this aside. Um, money and all of that back for the appropriations committee. We're Redraft. we'll be voting on the policy and whether or not, for instance, as council state governments recommended that this <clears> is important. <throat> um, yeah. You know, Endeavor um, for to have, um, but Barbara, are you in terms of recommendations? Um, when I listen to you, I hear it's it's more like a a status update or or a um a, you know you know an update of their functionality operations whatever, which doesn't necessarily it may not lead to a recommendation. It may or may not. Are, are, are you good with recommendations? I just, does that capture? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting because I just picture like, okay, it could be a totally different room full of people. And um, we're, we are all making our best, uh, and I guess seems too weak because it's more than that. People's best work was done to put together what is needed to get this really important data and and it may or may not end up like being adequate to do it um so if we're committed to this happening we want to find out um were how's it going were you able to do what this law sets out for you to do and if not what are the obstacles that are occurring and do you have, you know, it'd be great to have the people who are, you know, close to the work being able to say, what would it take to be successful doing it or to be more successful or what have you discovered so that we, it's not a one and done, it's gonna evolve. And I just yeah. would hate to um, have to fight with people about, evolution because it it's it's new and we don't know yet what we will need to be for this division to be successful yeah. um yeah yeah question for eric i guess um, um if, if i ask you a policy question eric i i know you'll say that you can't, <clears throat> you can't uh, uh, have a comment but in in your your opinion does does uh in, in that language, does recommendations cover everything, you know, the, the types of things we're talking about? Do you think it's a catch-all that would? I think it could. It's it's one of those situations where, you know, you've got to decide how specific you want to be. Um, it could be read to include that, but I think as Representative Rachelson said, um, you know, it's, it's uh, a few years down the road when it's somebody else sitting in the chair Sure. You know, yeah, yes, it could be read to include that, but you know, um, depends how how clear you want to be about 
uh, that guidance. If it helps, so, I, I, if it helps, I drafted up a sentence you could add. I was, <laughs> I was just gonna ask Madam Chair if it would be all right if I asked you if you uh, had any ideas as far as language goes, so. <laughs> I can read it to you and you can see what you think, either you know, add it or not add it or change it or don't change it. Yeah, please, thank you. Yeah, the re so it would go where we're looking. And so it would be a, a, a sentence after that that said, the report shall include an operational assessment of the division's structure and staff levels, whether those levels are adequate to meet the division's purpose and any recommendations for necessary adjustments. I would change that shall immediately to may. Oh yeah, good point, good point. So the second part of the phrase, the if they're adequate to meet the needs, yep. and that's it's only one way, they may also determine that they have more resources than they need. You know, let's not prejudge that. Uh, so I don't know if I, how does it read if you don't have that phrase in there, Eric? Uh, you could say, so if you skip that middle phrase, it could say the report may include an operational assessment of the division structure and staffing levels and any recommendations for necessary adjustments. I think that's better myself. That sounds good. So that would be on line five of page four. Um, I'm going to report to House and Senate Judiciary and GovOps, right? Yes, exactly. Yep. And I think I think that's I think that's good. Other right, folks, you um. Barbara, okay with it? Mm -hmm. I am. I was. I. I. It could be something other than staffing structures. It could be um, lines of authority. I mean, like the report, like the lines of reporting. Barbara, would you like to see it in front of you? Yeah, I, I think I, I think I would. Yeah, I'd love to see it in front of me. <laughs> operational. Yeah, because it may be. Yeah, I think once they see it, that might right. be in there. Right. <laughs> Martin Gibbon. Uh, no, I was just going to point out another thing that needs to be changed on the uh, next uh, version of this, something that uh, our eagle eye, uh, uh, Bob Norris, uh, caught. On page 11, you have Bureau instead of Division of Racial Justice uh, Statistics, uh, Eric, you know, old language. Uh, back to division line nine. Page. It's for the new section. Oh, you. yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank Representative Doris, not me. Thank you, Bob. Actually, I'm just trying to see if I can slip one use of the word bureau in here somehow, since that was my original term. I was hoping nobody no would <laughs> 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 You said line nine, page 11? Yeah, that's zero instead of. Are you in the, you're still, I think, in the version. Of, oh, I, I am. Version 2.1. Right. I got it right here. I, I grabbed it on. <clears throat> so, um, Eric, in terms of seeing the language, what, what works for, for you? <clears throat> Uh, take 10 minutes. Sure. Yeah. All right. Great. And I'll send so it to Amber. Look at, 